Okay, I'm still trying to do Chapter uh, 8, Tutorial 8-2, eight and after many, many failed attempts to try and create the address locator, um, this is what I did. I copied the, uh, I went to the finished exercises down here, and they had a Chapter 8 GDB file, and I copied it and I pasted it up here, and we will see what happens. Um, notice also I created my own Chapter 8 folder and it's got my own map here and now it's got the um, GDB file and so we will try to keep on going here on page 293 we will assume that steps 1 through 5 worked and we're on step number 6 and I want to expand this and um, I want to double click PGH streets now that's the little icon for an address locator there and so I want to double click that and I want to expand all the items on the resulting property sheet so here's my property sheet and it says I want to expand everything so I'm going to expand this this, 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 a lot of stuff here, okay? Okay, so you can um, read over the information on page 293 and take a look at this on your own. I'm going to close the window now. I'm at the top of page 294. And um, now we're at the bottom of page 294, and we want to click the Find button. Okay, we need to click on the Locations tab. Okay, we're going to have to look for it by browsing here says it's supposed to find it for us automatically but it's not and that could be due to the fact uh, that I copied it in rather than creating it myself okay so I want to go to my exercises and PGH streets okay click on add okay and now it's got that one selected for us and now in the full address field we're going to type 3609 and then we're going to ask it to find that for us Okay, and then we want to right click this, and it's going to open up a menu for us. And we want to add a labeled point. Okay, and then we're going to close the find window. Okay, so it's basically telling us that that's where it thinks 3609 Penn Avenue is. And I'm not sure how we know that that's correct, unless we already know the neighborhood. Let's try something here. Let's try uh, just a little zoom right here. And let's go to our Pittsburgh streets here. And let's go to properties. And under properties, I want some labels. Okay, so let's go to labels. 
and we want to label the features and let's click on OK and it looks like this is Penn Avenue okay yeah, it looks like I've got a little bit of a mismatch here somewhere. Oh, this is probably, let me turn off neighborhoods. There we go. So the neighborhood lines didn't quite line up. Um, but this is Penn Avenue, and this is um, 39th Street. And um, hmm, it doesn't seem like 3609 should be there because this is 40th Street. Seems like this should be 39 something, but according to the textbook, that's correct. So um, we will go on and under your turn, um, try to find the other three. And actually, <clears throat> this stuff has been such a pain. Uh, let's just go through that together. So I also want to find 1920 South 18th Street. 15203. So let's go find 1920. See if it'll find that one for us. And we are probably going to have to. Um, Let's right click on it and tell it to add a label point for us so we can see it. I'm going to have to zoom back out again. And okay, I probably shouldn't have had the labels in there. That's probably what slowed it down so much. Uh, let's go zoom in on this one though. This one is supposed to be on South 18th Street. And this appears to be 18th Street right here. So we're at least on the right street. Let's go back to the full extent here. And um, I should probably turn the labels. And nah, I'm going to need the labels to check the other two. Uh, let's go find another one. Let's find. 255 Atwood Street and let's tell it to find that one for us and it's right over there somewhere and let's uh, right click on that and let's have us add a label point for us and I'm comparing this with the picture on page 295 And that looks like it's approximately in the right place. I think if I turn neighborhoods on here. And uh, I'm going to have to change the border. Let's, let's make a couple of changes here. Let's make it hollow. And let's give it a thicker border. Click on OK. And let's put neighborhoods on the top. Okay, and the last one we're going to do is And that's a good place to stop, and we'll continue with another video on page 296.